Today's student speaker is Shanice Chris. Shanice is graduating with a Doctor of Science degree from the Department of Social and Behavioral Sciences. The first time I had the honor to share the stage with Shanice, I believe, was at our centennial celebration back in October 2013, when she did an absolutely magnificent job of speaking to a large group of school, al school alumni and friends about the global health threats we are working collectively to overcome. Welcome, Shanice. I am delighted that we are together again for another very important and happy occasion. As the daughter of educators in Greenville, South Carolina, Shanice learned the importance of teaching and empowerment from a young age, which led her to work as a HIV educator in Atlanta, Georgia, and eventually as a Peace Corps volunteer in Guyana, South America, at the Ministry of Health, with our commencement speaker, Dr. Ransami. See, everything connects. In Guyana, Shanice trained over 1,000 health center staff and students about reproductive health and broadened her reach by hosting a live weekly television show. Shanice came to Harvard to receive her doctorate after attending the Rowling School of Public Health at Emory University for her Master of Public Health degree and Oglethorpe University for her BA in Communication. At the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, her research has focused on integrating the fields of social epidemiology, behavioral sciences, and health communication to influence health policy to reduce disparities. Shanice was awarded funding from the National Cancer Institute, the Maternal and Child Health Bureau, and the National Institutes of Health during her doctoral program. In addition, she was elected as an Oval Office political campaign trainee at the Harvard Kennedy School of Government, which provides leadership training for women to successfully run for office at the local, state, and national levels. After graduation, Shanice will focus on public health policy and politics at the Harvard Kennedy School as a presidential public service fellow. I am very pleased to introduce Dr. Shanice Chris, our 2015 student, commencement student speaker. Greetings to Dean Frank, Dr. Ramsamy, distinguished members of the faculty, alumni, fellow graduates, and our friends and family who provided us each with immeasurable support. I am truly honored to welcome you. Oh. <laughs> After reflecting upon my time at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, I realized that we were all led here by an experience or a person who inspired us. For me, it was my grandmama, Sarah. When I was in elementary school, my family would visit my grandmother in the Mississippi Delta. When I would help her pick row upon row of collard greens in her massive backyard garden, I saw a woman who was once silenced by racism and violence, but who prevailed to raise five children complete a master's degree, and become a profound educator who provided a voice for others. She always said that I too would be a public servant who would give a voice to the silenced. My grandmother passed away from cancer while I was in college, and I realized there were so many mechanisms at work that had shortened her life, especially a social environment that systematically harms health. It was this realization that led me to public health. Public health provides us with a profound way to understand and address some of the most intractable problems in human existence and improve the health and longevity of generations and generations to come. Like a prism that refracts a beam of light into a spectrum of color, this school refracted our gifts and talents and to distinct areas of expertise. It has equipped us to help cure infectious diseases, reduce chronic illness, and improve social policy. Now, we can work in our communities to refract negative health exposures into life-giving outcomes. In the next phase of our careers, if we are to continue to find innovative solutions to improve health, we must redefine our approach. We need to tap into the full spectrum of human diversity. 
are sex, gender, race, ethnicity, nationality, class, and spirituality. I think about Alice Hamilton, Harvard's first female professor who became part of this school in the 1920s. She was excluded from many university events, was not allowed in the faculty club, and could not participate in academic processions at commencement like today. Yet her arrival redefined what scholarship looked like on campus, and her passion for social justice extended into her pioneering research on toxicology and practices to improve the safety of all workers. Like my grandmother, Alice Hamilton, and many others, we have the potential to transform seemingly inescapable trajectories. Class of 2015, I thank you for your commitment, and I challenge you to continue to be refractors and redefiners so that one day future generations, including my two-year-old daughter, will share our story and ensure that the voiceless prevail. Thank you.